hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in ASP.NET web applications how to implement the dependent drop-down list with select to jQuery plugin and here we got the final outputs notice the header tags below that horizontal line and three drop-down list controls now let's select the country USA see here we got the state names of the country now we select New Jersey, here we got the New Jersey capital. Now if I select India, the Andhra Pradesh, the state names of the India, if I select Maharashtra, the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. If I select Andhra Pradesh, is Amaravati. If I select uh, Australia, the cap, uh, state names of the Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, South Australia. If I add New South Wales, the New South Wales capital is Sydney. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in web application, ASP.NET web application, first we'll check the tables in Postgres database. Let me expand this databases folder and the challenge database which is a user defined database. Let me expand that one. For this example, I'm taking these three tables. In the tables folder, notice city, country and state tables. So first, let's browse these tables, select the database, right click the mouse, go to query tool and write the query to get the country table results so let's start from country semicolon let's run this code and here we've got the results of this country table country table contains two columns cid and cnm the cid is a country id and this country id is a pk primary key and it's a serial numbers which is the auto generate numbers and C name is a country names. Right now, in this country table, contains three country names: India, USA, and Australia. Let's search for the second table. Select start from state semicolon. Let's run this code. And here we've got the results of the state table. And this state table contains three columns: state ID, state name, and CID. And the last one is a select start from city table semicolon let's run this command and here we've got the results of the city table and this city table contains three columns city id city name and sid state id now here the condition is when we want to communicate between the tables at least one column one column or identical column between the tables if you check in this country table the CID column and in the state table we have CID column. So with the help of these CID columns, the similar columns will write a call the dependent drop-down list controls, which is a cascading drop-down list. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. Create a new project. After that, I'm selecting the new champ at ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework. Click next, then give the project name is select to dependent drop down list drop down list and the and the framework I'm using 4.7.2 click create. After that, let's select the web forms, click create. And here the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now in this project, first when we are dealing with any database, we require the necessary DLL libraries of the database. Here we are using the Postgres SQL database. So we require the NPG SQL DLL library. Let's first find out in the references folder we have that library or not. See here we don't have any npg sql dll library so first let's install that library select the references folder right click the mouse go to manage nugget packages after that globe go to browse and search for npg sql and from the search results i'm selecting this first option click install 
click OK. And see so here the package is installed successfully. Notice the green button, the download button. Now check in the references folder. See here we got no MPG SQL. This package is installed successfully. Now minimize this references folder. Now we don't require this nugget package anymore. Let's close this one. Now let's add one new web form page to our project. Select the application name, right click the mouse, go to add and select new item. The item, I'm selecting web templates. I'm changing the web form one name to index.axpx. And here we've got our source page of the index.axpx page. Now between form and do tag, I'm adding center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding h1, how to, how to uh, create a dependent drop down list using select to jquery plugin after that i'm adding another heading tag with postgresql sql database in csharp.net then after that i'm adding horizontal line after the horizontal line i'm adding the drop down list controls so open toolbox so open toolbox here we got the drop down list add that one change the drop down list id to ddl country we require two more for the state and city and change the IDs for this also DDL state and for the city DDL city. So, after adding the controls, next step right click the mouse on the source page, go to view code, and here we got our code behind window. Now, in this code behind window, first let's import the name spaces which we have installed in SQL. After that, we require the using system that data namespace also after adding these two namespaces next in the page.event i'm adding if condition if not page dot is post back which means if the page is not post back i want to execute the code whatever i write here between these double quotes uh, between these curly brackets so first let's in, add the connection string npg sql connection let's create the object con new npg sql connection mm, takes a string parameter between double quotes see so here the connection string so here we have to add our post create sql connection string the first connection string attribute is server the server name is switch to the database um, notice here the postgresql the root folder select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the properties there is a connection tab select that one here we can find our the connection string properties the first one is a host name and address which is nothing but the server name so here our server name is localhost so add that one next we require the port number of our database the port number is it's nothing but the 543 to copy that one in case here next we require the database the database is the tables i have created in the charan database so let's add the database name is charan and we require the username also user id the user id which is nothing but a username postgresql and the password here the password is password123 semicolon i'm closing the semicolon after that so after that we'll open the connection string with the open method then let's add the npg sql command class define the proper object new npg npg sql command let's add the command properties command dot connection is equals to connection uh, con con proper object this object i'm adding here com dot 
command type is equals to command type dot text then com dot command text is equals to the command text is the select query here the select query is select start from the country table the table name country which displays all the country names next we require the adapter data adapter for npg sql data adapter dsda is equals to new npg sql data adapter which takes the command attribute now let's add the data set ds is equals to new data set let's fill the data set in fill method in data adapter after that we need to bind the data so first ddl country dot data source the data source we are getting from data set object dot tables which takes an array the first one is the integer index is zero the zero is the only one table are using ddl country dot data value field is equals to the column names here i'm adding crd ddl country dot data text field is equals to c name the column name from the country table then let's bind the data ddl country dot data bind method that's it it's a very simple code to display the country names in this first ddl country drop down list now before adding the dependent functionality first we'll check the written code whatever we written here the code is working or not so here we got the first output the header tax of that horizontal line below that we got the the country names from the india us and australia from the country table now my next condition is when i use a select any particular country i want to display the state names of the selected country in this drop down list too so let's write that coding part now switch to the index.xpx page now first in the ddl country we need to add first the important property is called auto post back is equals to true let's add this property for all the drop down list controls this is very important property if we don't add the dependent functionality does not work so after adding this property now select the ddl country switch to the design mode now double click this ddl country which will generate the selected index change at event so now what i'm doing instead of writing the same code just for the time saving i'm copying this part and paste here the connection string is the same as it is but here the command is changed the sql star from select star from state where city country id is equals to the country id we are getting from drop down country dot selected item dot value then here i'm changing the data value field is sid and s name wherever the ddl country i'm adding ddl state ddl state ddl state and this one also ddl state and then switch over to the index.xp expression now this time double click the second drop down list which is a ddl state will generate the selected index change even for the ddl state drop down list so again the same thing and stop saving writing the same code i'm saving the time cut copy and paste wherever the same statement wherever the state i'm adding the city name the country name uh, the table name here sid the ddl country is ddl state here yeah. 
Let's close this one. From the city table, CID and city name. So let's add that one CID and city name. Wherever the DDL state, I'm adding DDL city. That's it. Let's check the output, the dependent functionality is working or not. And here we got the output. Let's select the country names, USA. So here we got the state names of the USA. If I select India, here we got the Indian state names. If I select Telangana, the capital of Telangana is Hyderabad. If I select the capital of Tamil Nadu is Chennai. If I select USA, Texas, California, and New Jersey. New Jersey is Trenton. Australia, Queensland, is Brisbane. Now let's add the select to jQuery plugin functionality for this drop down list. Let's open uh, latest jQuery CDN Google and from the search results I'm selecting the first one hosted libraries in the Google hosted libraries here we have the script the CDN link the version is 3.5.1 copy that one and switch to the index.exp page and the head title let's add that one after that Again, switch over to the browser. This time, cd jns select to enter. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option select to cdnjs.com. And here you can find, come to the bottom, this we require. Cop select this one, copy script tab. Copy that one and paste here. After that, we require the CSS also. Again, switch over to the browser, select to the CSS tab, click that one. This is the link we require. Again, copy link tag, paste here. After that, let's write the snippet script dollar document dot ready function let's do this one now here dollar between double quotes dot ddl the dot means it's a class name let's copy this ddl Add a property called class CSS class is equals to page at one DDL and add the CSS class to all the drop down list. Then dot select to that's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the final output on the browser. Oops, here we've got the double quotes. Now let's check the final output. So notice here, the India, US and Australia. Let me expand this drop down list. Go to design mode. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output. Notice the header tags below that horizontal line and three drop down list controls now let's select the country usa 
So here we got the state names of the country. Now we select New Jersey. Here we got the New Jersey capital. Now if I select India, the Andhra Pradesh. The state names of the India. If I select Maharashtra, the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. If I select Andhra Pradesh, is Amaravati. If I select uh, Australia, the cap, uh, state names of the Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, South Australia. If I add New South Wales, the New South Wales capital is Sydney. That's it. That's it. In this video, I have shown how to implement the dependent drop down list control in csharp.net using select to jQuery plugin with PostgreSQL database.